Well, it's another go with the fluting jig. Uh, similar to uh, the earlier experiment with making a diamond cross-hatched pattern, but instead of lowering the router to cut the other side uh, of the uh, diamond hatching, I'm keeping it at the same height, and as you can see from the video, I'm cutting from one side and then the other. Um, and at some point, those cuts are going to start overlapping. It meant that I didn't have to um, have the bushing of the jig riding on different parts of the face of the lathe um, sorry different parts of the face of the blank um, and it did cut neater it did cut better but I'm still going to have to do a little bit of experimenting I think maybe not using the bush um, to determine the depth of cut but use a stop on the baseboard so there you go you can see the diamond cross hatching emerging and on this one rather than stopping it as I did on the first one I've carried it through right to the outside edge and it's made um, a not unattractive little scalloping around the outside which I think looks quite nice I think um, the tear out was much less um, obviously getting used to it maybe I didn't have it running at a fast enough speed on the first go um, what what I haven't got on this one, which I really liked on the first one, though, was a curve on the diamonds. You can see I'm sanding them, trying to get a, something looking a little bit smoother and then going in the grooves between them and sanding there as well to try to get a smoother finish. And in some ways, I think that sort of robs it of a bit too much character. I am beginning to become quite a fan of a little bit of rough. Um, you may have noticed that on the spiral texturing video some nice wispy frayed bits there but once all of this sanding is done um, I'll put it at normal speed and then get on to the coloring um, and again it's an outing for the color shift paints that I used last time I think this might call for my decent airbrush. Okay, Let's see how it comes out. Pull, push the trigger down, pull it back. There it comes. You know my dislove of symmetry, neatness. I think I've said it enough. So I'm just following a bit of the pattern around, but I don't want to put this everywhere. There we go, that was some turquoise. I'm going to come on now to a bit of pink. seven or eight drops in the middle to begin with that's coming out a little runnier so I was spraying over there on that edge I'm going to spray down here this time on the other side
and I'm just cleaning with water at the moment but at the end I'll give a thorough clean still want a bit of sparkle this is silver and pink Now the last of my colours to go on is going to be some gold. So I do like these colours, I don't know that I like the texturing as much, the cutting, I kind of want to turn the middle out and see what it's like, but I think I also want to try different colours on here as well. something even more vibrant hmm Yes, Jonathan, I need a hair wash. But I couldn't resist coming out and filming this last segment for my uh, second diamond latticed platter rim metallic effect. I'm uh, getting a little bit addicted to this kind of thing, aren't I? Um, acrylic paints, cleaning out an airbrush. What on earth has happened to me? Don't panic, the next video will be something much more freeform. There are faults in this. There are a few places where I haven't sanded it very well, where I've got a little bit of the, the facet that's not quite right. Um, around here, some little dings in it. But this is me trying stuff out. And I like the overall look, even if I'm not entirely wowed by the colors, I think I think they look a bit too subtle and sophisticated for me. I was very tempted to go for some red and yellow and just really, wow, right in your face, red, yellow and black. And uh, this may well get that just as a colour treatment. Um, I quite like that little scalloped head you get because I've cut all the way through it. 
and it, it seemed to work cutting two sides at once. Um, but what I miss on this that the first iteration had uh, where well, there was much more rounding of the diamonds on that that one the sanding the face of it has removed a lot of that which I think I think makes it look a little tamer I don't know you might think differently but let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, if you're new here and you're not used to leaving comments I'd love to know what you think of the video so don't be shy uh, and leave a comment below and if you are new and you've not subscribed hit the subscribe button for me it helps with my insecurity right until next time when it'll be something not quite so um, ordered as this thanks for watching <laughs>